Hello everyone, my name is Priya and I am a senior at IU at Lodi specifically majoring in informatics with a minor in business and finance and good check, go ahead. Che Kim and I'm also currently a senior majoring in informatics, minoring in entrepreneurship and human-centered computing. All right. And, and today's topic? Go for it. So, you know Priya, what's it like being a Lodi international student so far? Well, I guess you're in the latter end of it, but how does it feel? It is, it is, it is, it is such like, a, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. Like, it's great. It's great. It's great that I'm part of like this major, like, I love it. I love the work that I'm doing. I love the classes that I'm in. But then there's also like the international student side where we have like 10 extra steps to get to where we want to in our career compared to like you know domestic students and people who are like in the country so it's it's a lot it's a lot of feelings to talk about but you know what about you how do you feel you know likewise and i echo every sentiment that you just mentioned and about the hurdles that we have to go yeah. you know the way how i think of it is sure we have hurdles but does that mean we yeah. have like a different experience to everybody else yeah. you know sure but at the end of the day I think the moral of the message is that we have to be proactive as international students and that's something that we'll talk about in this jumpstart. Actually speaking about, you know, hurdles, one of the hurdles that we have to face is the growing uncertainty and pressure that we're always under and yeah. how do you feel about that? Do you have any coping mechanisms that you utilize? My coping mechanisms. So my I, I, I try not to think about how it's not fair for us to go through the multiple steps that we have to go to. I feel like that's like a waste of time to think, you know, I, I don't want to do this. I don't have to do, do this because, you know, at, at the end of the day, they're just steps. We're international students. We signed up for this. We, we're going to do what we got to do and we're just going to get through it. And like, I think for me, it's just about doing a lot of a lot of research just being comfortable with the information I have I don't want to at any point feel like I don't know something because that can cost us like a lot like if you like get an interview and you go there and you sit there and they're like you know what we don't sponsor visas and I'm like okay like so I went through all of this for nothing so like it's, it's really important to have a lot of information at hand make sure you're aware of the different laws and the different rules that the university has and I don't know, just be informed. I, it's not a coping mechanism. It's just like, it's just, I don't know. It's just safer that way. It's not exactly a coping mechanism. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to cope with this specifically. How do you cope? Do you cope? Um, I wouldn't say I'm the best at coping, but what I do is proactively ask a lot of questions and starting from freshman year to sophomore year, I think what really helped me out was the career services in the sense that before going to the career services, I would have a lot of questions written down. A lot of questions as in, not questions that you know you're not going to get the answers to, such as, will I get a job? No, but like formulating questions such as, you know, how can I better, you know, better myself? Or like, what should I focus through my freshman year? Yeah. So freshman year, in order to be proactive, we maybe get our resume down or get, you know, get started on our interview skills. And these are questions that I think it starts to accumulate because obviously you're not going to, not everybody will recruit sophomore year, but yeah. by the time you're jun a junior, hopefully you're ready because you've already accumulated that knowledge. And I think that's what really helped, helped out which was to ask a lot of questions, go to the right people, you know? You know, one thing is that of course, if you keep asking the same questions to people who don't have the answers to it, you're never gonna get the answer. So you have to actively seek Definitely. people who can give you the answers. And I think that's what really helped me a lot. And I'd say that really reassured me throughout the years. And of course, you're not going to have the answers to all the questions you, you have because we just have so many questions as international, like in general, everybody does, right? Yeah. No, that makes complete sense. And like another important point that you mentioned is like you started early. You started when you were a freshman. You started as a sophomore. And I think that's something everyone, like especially international students, should be doing because it's a lot of information to take in. It's a lot of steps. There's a lot happening that, you know, the your peers would not, have to go through those steps but you would have to and I think it's important to not be ignorant and start as early as possible even though you have no clue what you're going to do with your career it's it's it doesn't hurt to like get your questions answered and just like know what's going to happen and know how you're supposed to go about those processes so I think I, I think all those points are great I mean you're doing I this. absolutely <laughs> thank yeah. you and I think another thing is that utilize the resources that are available at your disposal. You know, yeah. I, I, I don't see this happen enough. Granted, this is like, you know, 
from what I see with my a lot of my friends and some of my international student friends is that they don't utilize. I mean, utilize what you've got, right? I mean, we're here for four years, and the school makes substantial investments in yeah what they want to help out students and also international students. And I believe that the career, not that I be, I know that the career services helps yeah. out international. But they're capable of helping international students out. I mean, Definitely. currently, for you just to give a heads up to a lot of you know the international students a little yeah. bit about what we're working on currently the cpt guy the opt guy we also have yeah. megan in our office we're doing we help we're doing a lot we're doing a lot if you'd like talk about it like so both of us as international students we just want to make sure that you know we're, we're we at the career services we are doing things that are supporting international students and not just in the most stereotypical way possible like we can tell you that we will be there for you but we also have to make sure that we have the resources to support you and that's kind of what we're working on this semester um Chay's working on this amazing opt cpt guide to make the whole process just sound much more simpler than it is because you know you and i both know both of us have like ranted to each other about this like it's the process is very 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 confusing and it's just it you really know, is <laughs> yeah so this guy it's gonna be a great resource for that i'm super excited for it um we're looking at a few events to be ran over like the course of the semester not everything's not set in stone we'll see how that goes um a lot of new ideas a lot of new things coming up so Look forward to that. And yeah, like like Jay said, utilize career services. You can only feel supported when you reach out to those who want to support you. That sounds like a very cheesy line, but it's like really true. If you have resources, it's not going to come to you. You have to go to the resource, ask them the questions that you're supposed to ask them. And for that, you need to do a lot of research. So it's a lot of prep. It's a lot of work, yes. But if you want to get to where you want to be at, these are steps that you have to have to take. And the lesser you worry about it, the more the quicker you'll you'll get there. So I think complaining and feeling bad about this is like the worst thing to do. Don't do it. You know, as, as two people who have ranted to each other about a lot of international student things, we can tell you it's 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 hard. Like we get it. We we really do get it. But we've we, been through we, it all. Exactly. <laughs> but we're gonna get through this. We got through this. We if, if the both of us got through it, I, I'm pretty sure everyone else can. Yeah. yeah and everybody sooner the better and on the topic of that make sure to have backup plans and backup plans as in you know not just having plan a but also having a plan something that's plan b, and plan c. Plan b and plan c. so yeah. plan a could be you know recruiting of obviously recruiting in the states but plan b could be something along the lines of grad school at some point yeah. you know, just be proactive yeah and just have another safer a safe option for sure, for sure. I think backup plans, you can make as many backup plans as you want. And like no amount of backup plans is too many backup plans. Like plan A, recruit in the States. Plan B, go to grad school like Chase said. Plan C, look for jobs back home as well because the law changes. It's not in our control. It's not in the school's control. Things change. Everything, Everything's super uncertain, especially with the pandemic added to the mix. It's just even more confusing. So make as many plans. Research, 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 and utilize your resources. Come talk to people. Set up appointments. Come talk to the people at Career Services if you're at Luddy. And just come talk to us. Come talk to us. We have drop-in hours. <laughs> we have drop-in hours now. You can come through to us, ask t tips on your resume, ask us for like advice because, you know, both of us have been through this entire process. You know, we've interned at a company. We we're doing, we're doing things. We're getting through a process. And um, so, so we get what you guys are going through and both of us really really want to be as supportive as possible to this certain student population because I think we really need the support and stuff so being going through all these like huge huge processes sometimes you tend to feel like you're like you're the only one like who's going through this but you're not we're, we're, we're all going through it and yeah just just research we're there for you and Jay do you yeah. have anything to add um I mean echoing what everything that Priya just mentioned you know at the end of the day we're here for you like Priya and I, Megan, Carly, everybody in the office is here because we want you guys to do better. We eventually want all international students to get you know, the job that they want. And we're here. We're so yeah. whenever, yeah. You're, whenever you're available, please feel free to drop in. Exactly. And with that, thing, and with that said, you know, I believe that's a wrap for this week's yeah. Bloody Career Jumpstart. 
Bye, everyone. See you next time where each week we will discuss a different topic focused on helping you jumpstart your career in tech. Take care. All right. Bye-bye, you guys.